Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn about tile builds, how tiles are built in Gaia, how we can preview them and how to make your graph tile friendly. So let's start with the build settings. So in the method we will choose tile build. This resolution is for each tile so so our number of tiles is equal to 3 and each tile will be 2048 by 2048 and we can choose different blending between them so after each tile is built 25% uh, of each will be uh, used to blend it it is not recommended to go higher than 25 but uh, if you still get some artifacts in your landscape then feel free to increase it to 50 otherwise 25% uh, is uh, enough for our landscape next uh, here it will show us uh, some basic details about that so here our memory and since we have three tiles so there will be total uh, three by three grid so and we will have total nine tiles and here we have the final resolution so now if we have let's say 4k tiles each so now we will have uh, 12 kilometer by 12 kilometer terrain to start with let's say we want a 12 kilometer terrain so in uh, terrain definition we will go 12288 so that's matching our final resolution so now if we put let's say a range so this is range uh, stretched over 12 kilometer terrain when we build our terrain we will get some uh, warning let's ignore it for now i'll explain what it does later now we have our color space and range which we will put normalized and we can choose how after building whether it will put them in a subfolder or in the same folder as such and now we have the file format for our tiles uh, with uh, this y y axis we'll get tiles like uh, y0 x1 y0 x2 and we can change this from right here uh, we can use x x y y which is used in unreal and then we have our build destination and all those same properties when you first switch to tile build you'll see that uh, uh, some of these nodes have a diamond shape before their name this sign means that they are not uh, tile friendly and they would need a tile gate to build most of our primitives and geo primitives that create our basic shape all of them are not tile friendly and other look down nodes and erosion they are all tile friendly uh, we do have some traitors among them but you can directly see which nodes are tile friendly and which are not tile friendly so let's uh, create a basic landscape so now we have two primitives and combine now let's say we use wizard and erosion and then uh, we combine a mountain so this is our terrain now if we go to build now uh, we'll see that uh, this warning nodes that are nodes are outside of tile gates so if we click it we get this window and if we click mark these nodes with the asterisk then all of the nodes that need the tile kit will have the asterisks in their name so you can find them in your graph and then you can just uh, put a tile gate right here and now this node is behind the tile gate and here we'll have these two nodes so we'll put a tile gate right here and now that warning right here is gone and we get another warning we'll talk about it so how do we know where to put tile gates so the first rule of putting tile gate is that all of the nodes that are not tile friendly should be behind the tile gates if you see this mountain right here which is not tile friendly we have the mountain behind the tile gate and here we have range and purlin both are not tile friendly and we are putting a tile gate right here we can also put one tile node here and another tile node here since tile node doesn't take any processing time you can put as many tile gates as you want now let's come to the question of why we need tile gates so the primitives uh, such as mountains so let's take uh, creator for example so creator puts a creator in our landscape but if it is not behind the tile gate what it will do is it will put a creator in the middle of all of our tiles so that's why we uh, need tile gate so tile gate will tell Gaia that all of the nodes uh, behind the tile gate should be applied on our terrain itself not the indiv individual tiles or in technical terms uh, to apply the nodes in screen space now let's solve our other warning which was um, 
unbaked tile since this is out outside of our tile gate uh, we are getting this warning so we can just delete it and now we have this warning unbaked now if you click on this one uh, you can choose to bake uh, our uh, all of our tile gates and Gaia will run and bake all of the tile maps on this there is some errors so we will manually bake our tile gates now this should go away if it's not going then let's uh, change the method again to normal build and tile build again okay so now the error is gone now let's see how do we view our each of our tiles so let's bring it this down and now we have all of our viewport so the tile preview is right here if you click here and um, click preview tiles now you can see all of the tiles uh, so we have three by three total nine tiles and uh, all of the tiles are named so we can just click on any tile and it will go to that tile so now we are on tile one one and we can change the tile from right here now we can click preview tiles again and we can see our whole landscape now there is this uh, reference grid button right here so if we click reference grid then we have a grid overlay over our uh, whole terrain and now if we go and view any tiles then we will have that part of uh, grid so this is used as a reference and we can uh, choose to see the blending so if we go to our blending and change it a bit we can see the our reference grid changed and now we have all of the uh, corners that are going to blend so this area around here will be blended if we increase it to 75 percent then we'll see more of it the area is blending so that's how we can see how much area is being blended one final thing is that uh, if you are not getting enough details in your landscape and you are seeing that there are some weird artifacts in uh, your tiles then you can put a wizard node at the end with its default setting and all of those artifacts should go away. So with tile builds you can create as big of a world as you want. You can view each tiles, you can choose any number of tiles and finally build that. And that is all about our tile builds. Thank you so much for watching and good luck creating those large planets or landscapes whichever one you prefer